we're gonna start from the rod butt and go all the way to the tip top. Stripes are lighting up, and I didn't make it into the culverts, but I got a bite instantly. We can cast all day long, we can fish all day long. So, Oxygen. this guy's already really lively, okay. They've got the spines, they've kind of got the body shape. Maybe an alligator would eat it instead. My fish was just that much of a fighter. Welcome to another Gale Force Twins episode. Today is a special episode. We have some amazing news. Our Gale Force bass fishing rods are here. We are so excited. We are gonna go into detail, show you all the details of the rods. But most importantly, we're gonna break them in. We're gonna do some fishing in South Florida's local canal systems. We are so excited. So before we get into this video, my name's Amanda, Emily's behind the camera. This is Kona, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. The story behind these rods, I do want to give a quick story on these. You guys know we've been working very hard on creating Gale Force fishing rods. We've gone through over a year of prototypes, several rounds of prototypes because we wanted them to be perfect and we wanted them to be something that I knew I'd be comfortable fishing with all year long. So what happened was we got two Gale Force bass fishing rods just personally made for the two of us. We never really had intentions of creating them into Gale Force rods. They weren't intended to be prototypes whatsoever. It was just supposed to be something personal for us. And we loved them so much from the get-go. We were like, wow, these are amazing. This is it. Gale Force bass rods are gonna be a thing. So we never even went, we didn't even have to go through more than one round of prototypes with these because they were perfect from the start. We just fell in love with them and we wanted to offer them to you guys, especially because we have a ton of you guys from the Northeast, from the Midwest. So those of you guys that are watching that don't live in Florida and maybe might be landlocked and can only go catch bass, go ahead and leave a comment because we'd love to hear from you. Or some of you guys do live in Florida, like us, and Florida has a ton of bass and freshwater fishing. Today, we'll probably be catching a lot of peacock bass because where we of where we are fishing. Now, I wanna show you this rod in extreme detail. This rod is going to be a high quality, all purpose bass spinning rod. We went with a graphite blank, so that basically means it's gonna be super, super lightweight. Like, it's just gonna be like super light, you can cast with it all day, it's super comfortable, and it's gonna be incredibly sensitive, you're gonna be able to feel every bite, you're gonna be able to feel your teeny tiny shiner on the end of that hook. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the rod butt and go all the way to the tip top. We went with these red and black carbon fiber split grips. So because they're carbon fiber, they're gonna be incredibly lightweight and durable and sensitive. So if you're holding your rod all the way down here by the grip, you're still gonna be feeling those bites. Of course, they're red and black. That was for some obvious flair and color. We also have red trim rings, red and silver thread. It's a red and black rod. That's for aesthetic reasons and we just think it's beautiful. One more thing I did forget to mention about the grips is because of the material and almost like, I wanna call it the pattern in the grips, is that it's gonna be super easy to hold if your hands are wet or dry. So they're not gonna be slippery at all. We also went with a carbon fiber graphite reel seat. Again, super lightweight, super durable. You're gonna feel every single bite. The other reason we went with the graphite reel seat is because it will not corrode. The aluminum reel seats, sometimes you might have an issue with corrosion. This one, no problems at all. For our guides, so we went with, it's an ultra, ultra lightweight stainless steel guide. So these guides are actually 20% lighter than your average spinning rod guides. And that was on purpose, again, so it's super light. We can cast all day long, we can fish all day long. It's also great for um, little kids so they don't get tired as quickly. Because all I know is my first time ever bass fishing, my arms were exhausted, especially because we were using artificials. So that was another part, was that if you're using artificials and casting all day, having a lightweight blank, lightweight grips, lightweight reel seat, lightweight guides, you can cast and fish longer and more comfortably. And of course, the guides are stainless steel, so we're gonna have some extreme corrosion resistance on the guides themselves. The rod itself is seven foot two inches, fast action, graphite, durable, lightweight rod. It's gonna be good for shiners, it's gonna be good for artificials. It's an eight to 14 pound 
test rod. So it's kind of gonna be your all-purpose bass rod. You can pretty much do anything with it, whether you wanna catch largemouth bass, peacock bass, smallmouth bass, snakehead, crappie, um, clown knife fish. I mean, you can really do a lot with this rod, and that was a lot of the goal, was that you could go out bass fishing and really just take one, maybe two rods. You don't have to take a bunch for this type of lure, or I'm using shiners, so I need this rod. The goal was to have an all-purpose, high-quality, incredibly durable, high performance, lightweight, comfortable, all-purpose spinning bass rod. Lastly, we did not forget about the hook keeper. We put a lot of thought into this one. We put the hook keeper intentionally above the foregrip on purpose so that you can stick your rod in a rod holder and not worry about the hook being in the way. Ready? We're ready. Cast number one. Here First ever cast on the new Gale Force all purpose bass rod. Amanda's out. Right. The lily pads. Okay. Can I grab him? I did not even check my track. So, what happened was Amanda, I was the drive's probably cast pretty light to the culvert, and I didn't make it into the culvert, so, but I got a bite instantly. Here he is. Okay. Do we got a peacock? I think so. There's a glare. It's hard for me to see him. <gasps> it's a peacock. We got our first catch. There he is. Nice fish. Kona's interested in it too. All right. I'm going to I'm going to grab this guy. Emily, you just worry about the boat. Nice job, Amanda. Yes. Let some more line out. Get yourself your bass, your peacock bass. There. We got our first fish. We just caught our first peacock bass on the Gale Force bass rod called the Bass Thumb. So here he is. We have our peacock bass. Beautiful, Beautiful fish. fish Non-native to Florida, um, but brought over here on purpose to help with the cichlid population, which I believe there's mixed reviews on if it was effective, effective because these guys did fully integrate and they, now they do live here. Um, but they did help with this. They do eat the baby cichlids, so they did do their job, what they came here to do. So many colors on them. They have a false eye on their tail, green and orange and stripes. They, I think I can see the stripes are going to light up. You see oh, those yeah. stripes? Oh, yeah. So, oh, the, sun yeah. On so the stripes are lighting up. I think we need to get him some water. Some water. Some water. Yeah, some air. All righty. We're just going to hold on to him until he is ready to go. Kind of give him a little bit of wiggles to help him get some oxygen in his gills. Wait for him to wake up. He's pretty lively. Let's get some water through his gills and when he is ready and kicks, we'll send him on his way. There he goes. There he goes. Swims, he swims away. away. I'm on. Right, you're I'm on, on the, the camera. Lily pads again. That was not my uh, intention, obviously. Nice and easy though. And there he is. I got him out. He's you got almost him out? out? Almost out. Nice job. <gasps> yes. yes. Oh, job, it's a Amanda. cichlid. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Not quite a peacock bass, but I don't care. Look well, at that. We'll take it. I will gladly take it. So what's funny, actually, what I'm loving about this is this is the fish that the peacock bass were brought over to eat. Obviously, he's full grown. The bass. So the Mayan cichlids are invasive. The Mayan cichlids, these guys are actually invasive. I like to think of them as like a freshwater snapper. That's how I would compare them as far as like, they've got the spines, they've kind of got the body shape. Being a saltwater fisherman, that's kind of how I think of them. And basically, the peacock bass were brought over to eat these guys, and they do, and they did, and it helped a lot. That's my understanding of it. And obviously, once they get this big, though, the, you'd have to have a really large peacock bass eat this. Maybe an alligator would eat it instead. He's got scales like a snapper, spines like a snapper. He also has the false eye like a peacock bass, and those vertical stripes also kind of like a peacock bass. So we're going to go ahead and send this guy home for another angler to catch one day, or an alligator to eat. I think this guy's going to be pretty lively. Probably don't really need to baby him. I'm just going to actually let go of him. There he goes. Oh, Away he goes. Yes! We're on! We're on! Yes! Oh boy, I didn't 
check my drag. Wow, this is a fighter. You might need oh to take my drag, Amanda. Hold on, no I don't. I think I just got a big fish. Or it's my drag. That's okay though. Let's make the fight longer. Let's see what we've got. What are your guesses? I'm thinking. Definitely some type of bass. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's a snake head. Way to go. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. That's <laughs> awesome, Amanda. Oh my goodness. That was cool. Let's get this guy in the, the boat. boat. Oh my All goodness. Right. I'm so excited. Ready? Just swing him in really fast though. Woo. Oh. Here we have our snake head. Now guys, this is a bullseye snake head. Also the non-native species to Florida. These guys are actually native to Southeast Asia. So we have so many different species you can catch in Florida, which is pretty cool if you ask me. This guy is a really big fighter. So fun fact, my drag was actually not too loose. My fish was just that much of a fighter. So you see that red bullseye, that red false eye, the red around it is what makes it an easy identifier that he is a bullseye snakehead, which is the non-native species. We do have a native snakehead in Florida. But if you see the red bullseye, that's the giveaway. This is the non-native guy. But look at how big he is. Oh my this goodness. This is a nice one, this Amanda. This is so cool. Let's get a picture really quickly. Totally agree. All right. I think we're gonna go for the release on our bullseye snakehead. I mean, guys, if you're wondering why they're called a snakehead, I mean, this thing looks like a snake. Ooh, he's starting to squirm. Let's see. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Snakehead. Amanda has been the star of the show for this whole video. So if for some reason you're new here, guys, I'm Emily. Amanda's <laughs> been the star. We are identical twins. If you're not new, maybe you guys can tell us apart by now. The reason I have been the star yes. of the show is because, so Emily's been driving yes. and holding the camera and we don't have a trolling motor yet. Um, you guys can see that little white square is where the old trolling motor was that this boat came with, but it was broken. The good news is we have one on its way, guys. We had to get on a waiting list. You guys know a lot of things are on back order or hard to come by right now. So we were on a three month waiting list and we just got, we just found out that it's available and it's like literally coming to our house next week. So we're gonna be mounting the new trolling motor. And then that way it will take a lot of pressure off of who's driving and who's reeling the fish in and who's doing the camera. And, and then yeah. we can both fish. And then we can both fish. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us to fish with the new Gale Force Bass Rod, the Bass Thumb, AKA All Purpose Spinning Bass Rod. And we said all purpose for a reason, because guys, it's an all purpose rod. The bite was a little slow today, hence you might see the hoodies. Guys, it's 63 degrees right now. We're having a Florida cold front. And when there's cold fronts or big changes in the weather, the fish, they don't really like it. They're kind of like, eh, I think I might want to chill today. Kind of like when it's a rainy day and you want to sit on the couch and watch, watch a movie what happens to them. But either way, we're glad we were able to get out here, bend that rod, show you guys our new rod. We hope you love it as much as we do. We absolutely love this rod. I mean, we caught peacock, Mayan cichlid, and a bullseye snakehead. snakehead. Now I mean, we just need a large mouth bass. We do need to get a, get a large mouth. That, that's kind of important. If you guys are interested in getting this rod, you can go to galeforcefishing.com forward slash shop. In the meantime, we want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe.